Hi guys, it's me, Teacher Don. In today's video, we'll practice tayo on how to apply different laws of exponents given this kind of expression. So, if you're new to my channel, don't forget to like and subscribe at hit the bell button for you to be updated sa the latest uploads. Again, I am Teacher Gon. Let's do this topic. We are given the expression. We have the quantity of 3 x raised to 3 y raised to negative 2 over 4 x raised to 5 y raised to negative 3 and raised by negative 3. As you can see, for those students na hindi masyadong sanay sa gandong klaseng, exp gand klaseng expression, makita nyo ito bilang difficult expression. But, um, stay tuned lang kayo sa panonood ng ating video para mas madali nyo matutunan kung paano ba isolve or simplify yung gandong klaseng expression using different laws of exponents. So, first thing na kailangan nyo gawin dito, pinakaunang gawin nyo dito, applicable ba yung zero exponent rule? So, hindi siya applicable. So, directly, ang gagawin natin, we will be using power rule of loss of exponents. So, paano ba ginagawa yung power rule sa loss of exponents? Basically, guys, let's for example, mag-focus mo tayo sa numerator natin. As you can see, we have 3, x raised to 3, y raised to negative 2. All we need to do is to distribute or to multiply the exponent outside sa exponents sa base sa loob. So, paano ba ginagawa yun? So, sa 3 natin, so for the numerator, originally, meron siya rito exponent na 1. So, that will be 3 raised to 1 times negative 3. And, for the second base, in your numerator, you have x raised to 3 times your negative 3 exponent. And then, for the y variable, you have y raised to negative 2 times negative 3. So as you can see, didistribute natin yung exponent sa labas. Sa exponent sa labas. As sa loob ng ating expression. So ngayon, mag-focus naman tayo sa ating denominator. For the denominator part, we have 4 x raised to 5 and y raised to negative 3. Same process na ginawa natin. We will be applying power rule. So for... The coefficient of 4, we have the original exponent, which is 1, and then times your negative 3 exponent sa labas. And then for the y, x variable, sorry, x variable, you have x raised to 5 times negative 3. And for the y variable, you have y raised to negative 3 times negative 3. And simplifying these exponents, magbibigay sa atin doon ng... 3 raised to negative 3, so you can see negative 3n. Then for the x, you have x, 3 times negative 3, that is negative 9. And then for the y variable, you have y raised to 6, kasi para sila negative. You have negative 2 times negative 3 over 4 raised to negative 3. For the x variable, you have x raised to negative 15 because we have the exponents of 5 times negative 3. And then for the y variable, you will get um, the exponent of 9, negative 3 times negative 3. And examining the debit expression after applying the power rule, mapansin nyo, we have negative exponents. Meaning, we will apply or we need to use negative exponent rule. Wherein, kailangan natin i-transform yung negative exponent into a positive exponent. At paano ba siya ginagawa? So, gawa tayo dito ng, ng ating new trend of ano, solution. To make it positive, yung exponent natin, to make it positive, if nasa numerator siya, ang gagawin nyo siya, ang gagawin nyo doon, yung base na yun, ay ililipat natin sa denominator. But, if the base with the negative exponent is located at your denominator, kailangan ilipat mo siya sa numerator. So, paano ba ginagawa yun? Let's say, for example, you have 3 raised to negative 3, nasa numerator yan. Again, nasa numerator. Ang gagawin mo dyan is that dadalhin mo itong 3 na to sa denominator to make it positive. So, gawa tayo dito ng ating fraction line or bar line. So, lagyan natin dito 3 raised to 3. Ngayon, nasa baba na siya and the exponent is positive. So, isulat natin na maayos. And then, so as you can see, meron pa tayo, okay na tayo dito. So, for the x variable, you have x raised to 9. 
negative, gawin natin positive, nasa denominator na. Ito, mag-remain lang siya sa ibabaw. So, you have y raised to 6. And for the denominator part, itong 4 raised to negative 3 natin, ilagay natin sa numerator, and it will become 4 raised to 3. And for x raised to 15, sa numerator, x raised to 15. And this one is y raised to 9. And next step na natin solution, yung 4 raised to 3 natin is equivalent to 64. Kasi siya ay equivalent sa 4 times 4 times 4, 64. And then for the x variable, or for the variables, we can apply um, quotient rule, wherein we need to subtract exponents. Since mas pataas si 15 compared kay 9, sa numerator tayo mag-subtract. So it will become x raised to 15 minus 9. Again, x raised to 15 minus 9 over yung 3 raised to 3 natin is equivalent to 27. For the y variable, papansin nyo, 9 is greater than 6. So dito mangyayari yung ating quotient rule. So you have y raised to 9 minus 6. So simplifying this, 64 over 27, meron ba tayong simplified form? Meron ba? Meron ba tayong 64 over 27? So wala na siguro, okay na yan. And then for the exponent of your variables, the final answer here is 64 x raised to 6, 15 minus 9, over 27, y raised to 3. This is the final answer for item number 1. Sorry, isang item lang pala. So I hope na in this given video, you already know how to apply different laws of exponents given lang isang expression on how to simplify it. Kasi ano, uh, in some examinations, madali, may encounter nyo na yung given expression ay hindi lang isang law, law of exponent ang kailangan nyo i-apply. So much better na mag-practice kayo in simplifying this kind of expressions. So if you have any suggestion or co uh, question about this tutorial video or about this R solution, you can comment down below sa ating comment section. And if you want something or if you want another topic na gusto nyo cover sa ating YouTube channel, pwede kayo mag-comment sa ating comment section. Again, if you're new to my channel, don't forget to like and subscribe at i-hit mo na rin yung bell button for you to be updated sa ating latest uploads. Again, I'm Teacher Gon. Maraming maraming salamat. Bye-bye!